Hello everyone, welcome to this video on how to use the Crayfish plugin in your, with your 3DI results. I will give you a few examples uh, how you can use it. Uh, of course we have our own 3DI uh, plugin uh, toolbar available, but the Crayfish uh, plugin has a few extra features that I would like to highlight for you. Well, first of all, for this to work, you need QGS 3.4.5 at least. Uh, we always use the long-term release. Um, I opened the data source man manager and you see the new data source type that I added in Q QGS 3.x. And this is the mesh data source. Um, I select a 3DI result. I add it to my uh, layers. And here you see the standard quad tree cells for this model. Um, if I select the properties, I can this layer and everything that is available within the NetCDF. Um, I mostly want to show actually the flow, flow velocity in the cell center in this case. And I can select this arrow. I have to also look here. I can make the arrow any color that I, I want. I can make it any size that I want. A filter by magnitude, the options of the head, the arrow length. Um, let's see what happens if I press OK. Uh, OK, nothing happens. Um, OK, that's because I'm at the first uh, time step. In my simulation, I continue. It will be a bit more. Um, I added a breach somewhere here, I think. Yeah, there you go. And you can see the, the flow velocity uh, quite being quite high near the, near the bridge, re really high actually. Uh, in this case, um, I can continue and like this and apply. Of course, this is not really what I what I want. I would like to have like a nice flowing um, animation. Uh, for this, I turn off the native mesh rendering. And here you already have like an, an image that you uh, maybe would like to share with your uh, colleagues or your peers, but uh, in this case, I would uh, like to export it to an animation. I press OK and I go to the Crayfish plugin that I installed and I press Export Animation. Um, I call it uh, Example, Save, and I press OK. Now it starts exporting the animation that I selected. Um, the export time might depend on your hardware, on the frames per second that you selected, and how many time steps that you're actually trying to export. Um, oh, and now the animation was successful.